it's good to know that as a leader, I'm surrounded by brothers of such courage. I know that none of you will let me down when the time comes. All of us. Except for maybe that new brother. Which one? Kuisi Kifu. What's the matter? Don't you trust him? I wouldn't go as far as to say that. I'm just kind of worried about where his head is at. You don't think he's the man, do you? No, we've had him follow. We've checked as thoroughly as we can on his background. He's clean, as far as we can tell. Our spies over at police headquarters said that they couldn't find nothing on him, but they're still going to keep their ears open. Kifu's a veteran of the Vietnam War. He's a weapons expert and was also a sniper, much decorated and all of that shit. The brother who recommended him is one of our most trusted revolutionaries. No. I don't think he's the man. That's not the kind of vibration I got from him. Well, then what's the trouble? I was with him a little while ago. He's a very incorrect brother. No discipline. No revolutionary fervor. Just a very uncool nigga who acts as though what we're involved in is just an advanced stage of gangbanging. I I guess it's a carryover from his war experiences. Remember, unlike most of us, Kifu served in the military. Multiple deployments in Afghanistan. He's killed before. This is all old hat to him. Yeah. I think we should be patient and try to coax him along gently. Well, I went to go look at his efficiency report. Let's just say that this report ain't that good. Listen, I told you before that I don't think that he should have been selected for this mission. Just because that he got a good military background, that doesn't mean that that's enough. Listen to this report. Too compassionate. Given to feeling sorry for his targets. Hangs on to such emotions as mercy and pity. Doesn't realize that Such emotions go beyond the true reins of a true revolutionary. Nazinka, any brother with political knowledge knows that our treatment in this country is a result of inhuman treatment that has in turn dehumanized us.